Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about Errol Spence uh, versus Sean Porter, but the mistakes that he made, and is it is it was it is was it his fault? Or was it Sean Porter that made Chance Crawford? I mean, the made Errol Spence don't look the way he looked, or was it Derrick James didn't train uh, Errol Spence the way he should have prepared for um, Sean Porter? And in my opinion, is I looked at that Carol Brook fight. And Carol Brook, he used that straight jab to keep Sean Porter off him. And, you know, the thing about it is Errol Smith didn't use a jab at all in this fight. I mean, I'm not going to say he didn't use a jab at all, but he didn't use it. He didn't use a jab. I, matter of fact, he could, I, I, matter of fact, I could be mistaken because he might didn't use a jab at all. He was using uh, right hooks and stuff like that and was missing uh, uh, Terrence, I mean, was missing uh, um, Sean Porter. My, my fault. Um, but the thing about it is, um, as I as I looked at the fight, he wasn't. As I looked at the Carol Book fight with uh, Sean Porter, he used his jab a lot, a straight jab to keep him off from from rushing him, and that kept that kept him for uh, that kept Sean Porter from rushing in like that and to throwing a punch. You know what I'm saying? Because every time he uh, rush in, he uh, he try to throw a punch, throw something instead of rushing in and not throwing no punch. Why? Because that wouldn't even that wouldn't even be. A, a good that wouldn't even be good to do that to be rushing in and don't throw nothing at all. Why why would you rush in and not throw nothing, right? You see what I'm saying? So he was throwing he was throwing he caught him with a he called him many times from coming in for rushing in uh so he can get him so uh kept, so Sean Park can keep 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 him off him. But Sean, but Aaron Spence didn't use that at all. He was using left hooks, right hooks and was missing, right? And he was getting hit. You know, so of course he's gonna get hit at the same time. I mean, Carol Book got hit, but that, he didn't get his he didn't get hit as much as Earl Spence got hit. And they said that uh, Earl Spence stock went down, and Sean Porter stock I think probably uh, uh, went up. I would say I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't even disagree with that. But he did win the belt. But it's kind of like a a positive and negative goes with that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, he won the belt, but his stock went down, and I, and the the uh, the odds of him. Now the odds came out about uh, him, uh, uh, Earl Spence uh, versus Sean, uh, uh, Denny Garcia. Uh, the odds is for Denny Garcia winning the fight over uh, Earl Spence. He have a better chance, right? But that's another video stuff all in itself, right? I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna make a video about that. But but right now, um, he didn't get hit. Carol Book didn't get his hit as much as uh, Earl Spence Jr. did in his fight. I mean, uh, he didn't. I mean, of course, Carol Book did get uh, did get cut like like uh, Earl Spence got cut. But the funny thing about it, Earl, Earl Spence did fight Sean Porter fight. Carol Book didn't fight Sean Porter fight. He was trying to Sean, Sean Porter was trying to make him fight his fight, but he didn't. He used a left straight jab, left right jabs to keep him off him. And he he and another thing, and the second thing that Earl Spence didn't do, he didn't. He held a little bit, but he didn't hold as much as when he threw that left jab and the right jab from Carol Book. You know what I'm saying? Carol Book used it, and, and then he held. Then, see, Earl Spence didn't do that. He held him when he got close to him and stuff like that a little bit, but that, not as much. as It was a tactic. It, it was a strategy when Carol Book held, was holding uh, Sean Porter. It was no strategy when um, Earl Spence was holding uh, Sean Porter. He was holding him. He, Aaron Spencer was holding Sean Porter because of because the aggressive the, the aggressive style. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a cold. He was holding him because of because off a of spite, not because of, he was doing it because it was a strategy. You see what I'm saying? So the thing about it is, um, I want to. I mean, Sean Porter did get him off his game. He spinned him around when he got to the ropes and stuff like that, and he was hitting him to the body. I'm talking about Sean Porter when he did to Errol Spence. Errol, Errol Spence was trying to do the same thing. Errol Spence didn't do his, he didn't use his jab, his his left and right jab. He didn't he didn't he didn't hold he didn't grab and hold Sean Porter when he was trying to uh, uh, throw a punch and all that. And uh, and and and, and two at the same time, he he got he he didn't make him think. You see, what I'm saying he see. Earl Spencer, he thinks. Um, see, another thing is, if you if you came in and if you see, another thing is, I thought I thought too at the same time he probably was overlooking uh Sean Porter, 
I could be wrong, but Derrick James didn't. I don't think Derrick James looked at that Carol Brook fight. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. And if he didn't, and if he didn't tell him to do that, Derrick James really um, didn't do his job in this fight. And I th and I, by what I heard and what I seen, and by what I heard what I seen too at the same time, Earl Spence said this running back. But it looked more likely it looked like that Earl Spence is going to take the Sean, I mean the uh, Denny Garcia fight in January the 25th, I'm thinking, right? If I'm not wrong. But at the same time, um, that I think I think it was both. I think it was Sean Porter, of course, got him off his game. Uh, Sean Porter was, was was getting ready for him like in six months, eight months period time when he fought Ugas. And I mean, of course, when, uh, when Earl Spence jumped to the ring, he wanted to fight Sean Porter. But Sean Porter had, had his strategy. I think he was his plan on fighting Earl Spence. He knew he was going to fight Earl Spence pretty soon because he was on the same uh, in the same company, right? Because he, he got the WBC strap, right? So I think he was planning that for a long time. Uh, uh, Sean Porter did too. The same time they was they 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 did a good job when he fought uh, Earl Spence Jr. They made him look real bad, right? I ain't gonna lie about that. But the thing about it too, at the same time, I would say that um, um, Earl Spence, if you say Earl Spence uh, stock drop a little bit, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't even be, I would even be mad. I would even argue with that. If you say Earl, if you say Sean Porter's stock went up a little bit, even though he don't got the, he lost, he don't got the WZ strap, then I would definitely say I would even, I would even argue with that. I would even disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? And you know one thing is everybody talking about. He was robbed and stuff like that. Uh, Sean Porter was robbed. I wouldn't say it was a robbery. Maybe, maybe controversial a little bit. But at the same time, maybe even, maybe, may I might, I might even go too far with that. I think even after the when he even got when he knocked down um, Sean Porter when his when his hands touched the uh, gloves touched the canvas that counted as a knockdown. Um, after when he got the eleventh round and the twelfth round because I knew uh, Sean Porter was trying to recover from the. Uh, from getting knocked down, because I think he was still hurt a little bit, a little bust a little bit at the same time, and that, and when they was reading the scorecards, he wasn't even surprised a little bit as he lost that fight, because he know, because 90% 90, 90 of the time, 95% of the times, when you get the knockdown, it's, if it's going back and forth, and and and, and somebody get the knockdown, that's going to be the side fact that you win or lose the fight. You see what I'm saying? That's going to be the side fact that you, win, you, that you, might, be, you might win a fight. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, that, that's gonna make it real easy for the judges to, to say that that person won the fight and the other and the other person lost the fight. You see what I'm saying? And I, I, you know, I, 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 it was close. It, it, let's say he was. Let's say Sean Porter was winning. Then it, 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 I know I'm getting off a subject. I apologize for that, but I'm just saying for all the people out there making making talking about he was robbed. Uh, Sean Porter was robbed, or it could have been a draw. Could have been a draw, but the knockdown kind of like, you know, what I'm saying kind of like redefined. Really find that you know, saying he, you know, saying really find that he, um, that they can, and then that the, then Earl Spence is the the popular guy, the most. Uh, he just came from a came came beat came from came off a fight beating up, dominating Mikey Garcia, and did three hundred seventy five pay per view buys, and he was a, he was a star. Sean Porter was not the star, but now he is a star now because he fought Earl Spence Jr. And did a good job. He didn't come out with the win, but he did. He did a good job. But getting back with the uh, uh, Carol Brook, Carol Brook did a good a good job against Sean Porter. Earl Spence didn't do a good job, but he did get the knockdown. Sean Porter, Sh uh, uh, Carol Brook. You know what? Carol Brook could have got the knockdown in the first round. As I, he not, he hurt Sean Porter like two times, maybe three times in the fight. Earl Spence hurt Sean Porter. In the lever round. Now, maybe somebody might have seen something different in the prior round, in the prior rounds, but the lever round was the was the was the deciding factor of Earl Spence uh, winning that fight in, t in the twelfth round too at the same time. Because um, I think a little bit Sean Paul was in survival mode a little bit and trying to recuperate from that being buzzed from that uh, left the left hook, and I mean you know the left the, the, you know the left hook right. And uh, and the thing about it is, I I would say that uh, Derek James and Errol Spence need to look at that Carol Book uh fight if they was gonna try to rematch a uh, Sean Porter, and I think I think after Denny Garcia, he might get that fight with Sean Porter, 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, um, everybody talking about the low blows and stuff like that. I can understand that, but I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Earl Spence trying to do it intentionally. It was just because Sean Poy was holding his head down some uh, in, in some uh, in some areas in, in some situation in the fight, and then that's what made Earl Spence throw a low blow and throw the low blows at the same time. But at the same time, I think the low blow really hurt. Sean Porter when he's when he reacted, but when 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 he did throw low blows, uh, uh, Sean Porter didn't react to the low blows because they wasn't that low. It was just Sean Porter had his trunks up too at the same time. So you got to think about that, y'all. So, but at the same time, man, I would say that I I don't think he's prepared for uh uh Sean Porter the well that I, as 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 we thought he was but it could have been Sean Porter as I as I, I I do agree with it that he was real he was well prepared for uh Earl Spence and um and we overlooked it I me I overlooked I can I, I don't think I overlooked the Sean Porter but I I cuz I at, at first I, I knew that he was going to get I, I knew Earl Spence was going was going to get no knockout I I knew I probably I, I said I, I said I said that he probably I'd be surprised that I'd be surprised if he get a knockdown I'd be very surprised if he get two two knockdowns maybe even three you know what I'm saying so and I knew it was gonna go twelve rounds you see what I'm saying so but at the same time the judges gave it the two judges gave it to Earl Spence and one judge gave it to Sean Porter it was a split decision but at the same time Carol Book did do a good job against Sean Porter like I said I keep on repeating that. And Earl Spence didn't do a good job. I think Sean Porter got him off his game. And then Derrick James didn't do what he do. Didn't do as the Hall of Famer trainer that he is. Didn't do his job. I mean, he's going to have some, he's going to have some kind of, um, maybe he didn't. Maybe Earl Spence didn't stick to the game plan. Because Sean Porter didn't make him think. But at the same time, when he fought Mikey Garcia, that was a game plan all in itself. Derrick James, that was, that was Derrick James written all over it. You see what I'm saying? Because he he was boxing uh, uh, Mikey Garcia, and he didn't come in in there with that that aggressive style and that uh, th th bulldoze you style. You see what I'm saying? So that was that was his trainer written all over that fight, and he did a good job. You see what I'm saying? So this this fight, I didn't dare James didn't do didn't prepare uh, Errol Spence right, and then of course Errol Spence his nutrition and his trainer his health his health his fitness trainer, uh, he don't have them like in his corner no more like that. So maybe he's going to be real prepared for the next fight. So at the same time, what y'all think about what I'm saying? You dis you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Uh, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for a new video for me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. Bye-bye.